There is no doubt that Justin Trudeau is the most corrupt Prime Minister in our history. He isn't one of the most corrupt. He is the most corrupt. This latest we scandal, or we controversy, as the CBC likes to call it, is an example of a Prime Minister so drunk on power and popularity that he thinks he is essentially invincible. Following a similar coronavirus bump, as every major leader dealing with the virus has had, Trudeau thought he could sneak another one by us in the midst of our latest distraction. Had it not been for the fearless investigative skills of Canada Land's Jesse Brown, Justin may very well have been able to reward his friends at Wii with a billion dollar government contract, which would have saw them pocket more than 40 million dollars of your money. Luckily, Justin's endless arrogance has finally caught up to him. Watch him make a fool of himself in this exchange with Pierre Polyev during a scheduled testimony about his own corruption. Uh, Prime Minister, you twice were found guilty of breaking the Ethics Act. After those two convictions, did you decide to read the Act? You got 14 seconds, Prime Minister. Um, yes, I have read the Act a number of times. Are you aware of Section 21? Uh, yes, since I've read the Act, I'm aware of Section what 21. What does it say? I can pull it up for you, but if you have it in front of you, you will mind Well, it says a public is. office holder, of which you are one, shall recuse himself or herself from any discussion, de decision, debate, or vote in any matter in which, uh, uh, in respect of which, he or she would be in a conflict of interest. I'm going to ask you again, Thank because you no, no, nobody, nobody believes you when you say you don't know how much money your family has got from the Wheat Group. So you've had a month to look into that. You knew you were going to testify here. Again, how much money total have your brother, mother, and spouse received from this organization? How much? That information has been publicly shared, but I will highlight. Well, then tell me mother, what it is. Uh, my mother. How much has? Uh, has just the dollar through, figure. Uh, throughout her life. The dollar uh, figure, in Prime Minister. In various ways, and is uh, proud how much? of the work that she's done, and I'm proud of her. How much? Job. Uh, I'm looking for can, a dollar figure. We can, we can get that number for you if you like. It's been in, out in the media. It's been in the media, in but you don't know it? I don't have it in front of me. Quite you don't frankly, know how much your family has received from this organization, which you tried to give a half billion dollars, really? Can I answer, Mr. Polyev? I'm waiting. You haven't done an answer so far. Let's make this the first one. My mother has worked as an advocate. The dollar figure, Prime Minister. Uh, speaker. Uh, for How many much? good organizations across the country Mr. Many, Prime Minister, many you are, she is you, proud uh, you that are she being doesn't asked have to rely on a husband at a or a son to support her because she does her own work. And I'm proud of, of order, the work that she does, order, order. but I uh, do not uh, feel that and it is my the responsibility to peer into uh, the work my mother is doing because I have come point of order to suspend the, the chairperson's power has gone out and is no longer part of this meeting. Um, uh, may I propose that we it's okay? We can uh, we can keep for uh, Prime Minister and I can uh, continue talking. The general, the general process is that the vice chair assumes uh, assumes the chairing of the meeting. So we'll continue. And that would that would be that would be me. So uh, we'll continue the meeting, um, and I now give the floor to the member for Carleton. Um, Mr. Prime Minister, you have, uh, I'm going to ask you one last time, how much did your family get from this organization? How much? Have you read the Conflict of Interest uh, Act, Mr. Yes, Polyev? I have. How does it define family? I'm asking you. How does it, I'm design, asking how you, does it define family? I'm asking family? you how much your family got. The Don't Conflict you? of Interest Act defines family right. as spouse and direct okay. dependents. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. So you're so not going to answer, order, order, not, so uh, not going to answer the question. Page. You correctly pointed out that the Act uh, defines family as including a spouse. Therefore, you knew you know you're under investigation. Uh, regarding the act uh, i'm going to ask you again how much in total and i'm looking for a dollar figure here sir how much did your spouse receive in reimbursed expenses or other benefits from this organization how much your uh, original Brandon, question mr polyev was how much was my immediate family i asked you a different question paid? now for, How much? Uh, Mr. Mr. Polyev, the Prime mother, Minister has the floor. My wife has uh, never been paid since I was Prime Minister. Reimbursed for expenses. Mr. Polyev, Mr. Polyev, we could, could we please have ordered? 
turns out, the two brothers Justin Trudeau wanted to award a government contract to are friends of his, even though he denies it. His wife Sophie not only did work with Wee, she does a podcast with Wee. This whole Wee scandal goes deep and involves Bill Morneau and other members of the Liberal Caucus and Justin Trudeau's team. Before all of this, we saw Justin Trudeau throw Jody Wilson-Raybould under the bus for refusing to play nice with SNC-Lavalin, a multinational corporation based in Quebec that Justin thought should get off the hook for charges of fraud, corruption, and bribery. Before that, Trudeau was found guilty of one other ethics violation involving the Aga Khan. If you don't remember that one, you should look it up. We simply don't have the time to go over every facet of Justin Trudeau's corrupt dealings, but if we did, this video would be nine days long. In the past, we've covered Trudeau's corruption. If we were to make a video dedicated to every incident, it would start to sound repetitive. So here are some recaps. To start, Trudeau's cabinet has proven to be one of the most corrupt and arrogant cabinets in recent history. And to date, none of Trudeau's ministers have been forced to resign. Not Harjeet Sajjan, who lied, twice on record, about being the architect of a military operation in Afghanistan. Not Miriam Monsef, who ran a failed public consultation on electoral reform and lied about her country of birth. Not Bill Murnau, who failed to disclose an expensive chateau in France, was found guilty and fined a measly $200. Not Scott Bryson, who intervened to kill a shipbuilding contract signed by the Harper government. And what about Justin Trudeau, who was found guilty of violating ethics rules with the Aga Khan, paying a convicted terrorist $10 million in taxpayer dollars, inviting a terrorist to a party in India, and groping a female reporter? Or what about his Liberal government authorizing Stats Canada to steal our banking information without our consent? If Justin Trudeau's goal was to unite Canadians with his corporate corruption, fake feminism, and progressive hypocrisy, he has utterly failed. At this point though, most of Trudeau's actions thus far are looking intentional. Immediately after the election, which saw the Liberals completely wiped out of Alberta and Saskatchewan, Trudeau promised to do more to unite the country. However, just weeks after making that declaration, his government announced that his new gender-balanced cabinet would focus on climate change. Most Canadians may not necessarily know what that means, but the energy sectors in both Alberta and Saskatchewan do. It means stiffer regulations on pipelines, higher carbon taxes, and a further reduction in jobs and economic prosperity in Canada's western provinces all while a massive brown cloud of smog continues to hang over India and China, two countries without carbon taxes or any real or substantial environmental policies. Trudeau is a traitor, a liar, a cheat, a hypocrite, and an arrogant asshole. Together, the GTA, the Maritimes, and the West can end his career and unite this great country we call home. We can't let Trudeau divide us any longer, and it's up to the leaders of the NDP and the Bloc Québécois to make an election happen sooner rather than later. Justin Trudeau has done everything Donald Trump has done, but with considerably less attention. He's been accused of groping a female reporter. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. He's dressed up in blackface on numerous occasions. Yes, it was. I didn't consider it uh, a racist action at the time. And he's doled out government contracts to his own friends. He has even used the Ministry of Justice to help his friends at a corrupt corporation get off the hook for charges of bribery and corruption. Somehow, after all of that, he could still be re-elected. However, there is hope on the horizon. Recent polls show Trudeau's COVID bump coming to a crashing end while Liberals now look like they will be overtaken by Conservatives in Ontario. If all goes well for the rest of us who despise corruption, Trudeau will lose the next election to Leslyn Lewis, Aaron O'Toole, or Peter McKay. Let's hope it's Leslyn Lewis. If there's ever been a time in history when we needed new leadership, this is it.